let me help you out you need to have this belief and own it if you want to go where I'm talking about today next level the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraught thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us I'm going to the next level and the next level will seem somewhat uncomfortable because it's new and it's a little bit different get used to it this is how we do things we go to the new and we leave the old behind I know where I've been I know where I'm going I know how to get there mm -hmm. can you hear this yes. you can follow me or not mm -hmm. but you should follow me Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 but without faith it is impossible to please him so you're gonna have to have some faith and if you want to please him more you're going to have to have a better understanding and grasp of faith yes. for he that comes to God must believe that he is mm -hmm. now here we know and I go on and on and on and on about this that the Holy Ghost say the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. he is God in the earth today well if you want to please him and you're coming to him mm -hmm. you must believe that he is yes. he is what he is God he is in the earth today you have to believe these things yes. I'm going to talk a lot about fundamental beliefs here this evening you have to believe he is is what is God is where is in the earth mm -hmm. right I'm believing those things if I'm believing those things what does that do it pleases him mm -hmm. what if you don't eh, not so much he's not too pleased with you yeah. must believe that he is is there more there is. Yeah. oh wait a second let me look at this must believe that he is and say and. and and that he is a rewarder say rewarder rewarder, rewarder of them that diligently seek him him who him the one we were just talking about that we believe he is mm -hmm. in the earth and the one that's in the earth is rewarding me say that the one, the one. that is in the earth is rewarding me now how are we going to get that reward how are we going to increase increase that reward is by increasing our faith mm -hmm. can you see that that's how this verse began if we have more faith and better faith and more perfect faith mm -hmm. because yours isn't perfect if you don't believe those things that I just said then we can have more better and perfect reward that comes from him because he's more pleased with you Is this making sense well I'm going here I'm going to the next level this is what we're talking about Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 38 says now the just shall live by faith so there must be a living in faith there must be a way to live by faith if he says the just are doing it that way yes. say that's how the just do it that's how the just do it here we begin to bump into a fundamental belief of this society you're in there's of holy ghost worshipers we believe he is mm -hmm. in the earth is god and rewards us by faith fundamental belief that God's Word contains the thing it said say God's Word, God's word contains, contains the thing, the thing it, said. it said if it's 
a prosperity promise or a prosperity verse what does that prosperity verse contain prosperity, prosperity god's prosperity okay. very good if it's trick question if it's a healing verse of scripture a healing promise what does that healing verse or promise of scripture contain healing, healing god's healing well you're good it's a fundamental belief here and you need to have this belief let me help you out you need to have this belief and own it if you want to go where i'm talking about today next level own and believe that god's word contains the thing it said think about it for a second god does everything now your earth is is what god said and so when he said a verse of scripture that verse or that word contains the thing say the thing Amen. that he said get that straight if you don't get that straight i can't go to my next point it's a fundamental belief god's word itself contains the thing said if it's a healing verse it contains healing if it's a prosperity verse it contains prosperity are you here yes. so where is god's prosperity oh 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 it's in his word it's what he said that's how he does everything Romans 10 verse 17 says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God well if faith comes by hearing the Word of God there must be faith in that Word of God for it to come to you through the vehicle of hearing mm -hmm. how does it come to your ear it has to be said say it has to be said it has to be said, has to be said. keep up with me the word itself must have faith in it for faith to come to you through the vehicle of hearing it must have the faith in it mm -hmm. so it has the thing in it and it has faith in it and we know that the faith is what brings it to pass are you here yes. whose faith is in that word that comes to you his faith his power his ability is in that word that comes to you it's God's faith for the thing said that's already in that word can you see this he released his faith into that word when he said it it's a fundamental belief that that faith and the thing is already in there it's already in the word that God said are you here yes is this good news yes so if I'm looking out here for the things that God is giving to me I'm looking in the wrong place mm -hmm. his thing that he wants to get to you is already in that verse of Scripture and the faith to produce it is already in that verse of scripture mm -hmm. can you go anywhere with this yeah i'm really trying to walk you up these stairs so we can go to another level the faith is already in there the thing itself is already in there matthew chapter 4 verse 4 man shall not live by bread alone but by every word luke says by every word of god so you're going to live by every word of god there must be life in that word mm -hmm. we know there's faith in that word and it's a fundamental belief that the thing itself is in that word man shall not live by bread alone but he shall live by every word what's this next thing say that proceeds out of the mouth of god what does proceeds out of the mouth mean spoken. proceeds out of the mouth literally means spoken mm -hmm. man shall live by every spoken word of god i hope you heard that 
man shall have a greater increasing more or less life and the thing that's in the word by every spoken word of god say i shall live, I shall live by, every by every spoken, spoken word, of god. word of god man shall live by the spoken words of god i hope you're here this is getting good i'm enjoying it i know i can live by every spoken word of god there's life in it there's the thing in it who do you suppose does the speaking i do's the speaking yes. what if i want to live greater speak more <laughs> speak more more what Word. more of the words of god we're talking fundamental beliefs the word itself contains the thing said mm -hmm. the word spoken shall accomplish said thing mm -hmm. the word not spoken does nothing god's word spoken accomplish the thing said are you here mm -hmm. isaiah 55 verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth there it is again goes forth out of my mouth so shall my word be that's spoken say it so shall my word, so be, shall my word be that's spoken. spoken so shall my spoken word be yes. so shall my spoken word be it my spoken word shall not return unto me void but it my spoken word shall accomplish it my spoken word shall prosper Amen. in the thing whereunto i sent it what prospers his spoken word what accomplishes his spoken word my spoken word shall accomplish in the thing whereunto i sent it are you here what's the thing that he sent it to the thing that he said the thing he spoke mm -hmm. my spoken word shall accomplish so shall my spoken word be mm -hmm. my spoken word shall be say my spoken word, my spoken word shall, be. shall be this is the god kind of faith this is how god does things he believes his word spoken shall be i believe in saying god's word it's a fundamental belief now there's been some confusion over this i did a whole message on i believe in saying god's word and i hear comments and some of the comments to me are like did you listen to the message some of them came back like yes i agree 100 percent that it is much better to read the bible aloud than just to read the bible and i'm thinking not that there's anything wrong with reading the bible aloud there's some benefit to that but that is not what i was saying i was not saying just to read the bible out loud no. i was talking about speaking particularly the promises of god with intent and the intent is that those words would accomplish those words would prosper those words would come to pass yes. markedly different than reading the bible out loud which i'm not against now don't come back and say i'm against reading the bible out loud and i'm often confronted with this is that people simply don't know what i know people don't always know what you know right and they're coming at whatever you're saying to them from the perspective of wherever they are that's why i go over and over and over these things but i'm not just talking about reading the bible out loud i'm talking about speaking in agreement with god's word with intent say with intent, with intent. and the intent is that it will come to pass like he said it my spoken word shall accomplish it my spoken word shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it another person after hearing my message on 
me believing in speaking God's Word said I think people are confused by your message and by your preaching they might think you're saying that speaking his word will cause it to come to pass that's exactly what I'm saying they might be confused into thinking that no that, no you're confused thinking I'm not saying that that's exactly what I'm saying that's exactly what he said so shall my word be that goes forth out of my though so shall my spoken word be my spoken word shall accomplish listen my spoken word shall accomplish that which i please it my spoken word shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it how do you send it by saying are you confused you believe that when you say God's word out your mouth that word will come to pass yes. yes that's what I believe it's fundamental to my faith mark 11 22 are we having fun yet yes somebody isn't <laughs> and Jesus answering saith unto them have faith in God or in the margin it says have the God kind of faith or have the faith of God but either way this is how God does it this is how you have God's faith mm -hmm. if it said have the faith of God this is how you would have the faith of God if it meant have the God kind of faith this is how you would have the God kind of faith we're told to have it Jesus told you to have it yes. verse 23 for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say, say under this mountain be thou removed be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he says what shall he have whatever he, says. whatever he says this is the God kind of faith he believes whatever he says comes to pass Amen. am I wrong no. The God kind of faith is to believe the things you say come to pass. What are the things you say? Words. You believe the words you say. You believe the spoken word comes to pass. That's what you're believing. Let me help you out here. I've heard faith preacher after faith preacher after faith preacher miss it in this very verse of Scripture. They get up to the part of the mountain you got to believe that the mountain is removed and if you doubt in your heart that the mountain is removed it won't remove that's not what you're believing what you believe are the words you say come to pass what you believe are the words you say come to pass you're literally designed to believe that you're designed by God to believe that you're created in his image he is a God he's a spirit being who believes the things he says come to pass you are made in his image a spirit being that believes the things they say come to pass that's why it's so important to speak his words mm -hmm. so you're not believing the mountain will be removed you're not believing the sickness will leave Oh, I'm believing the sickness will leave I'm believing the sickness will leave I'm believing I'm believing the money will come in I'm believing the money will come in stop it believe the words you say come to pass we're going to the next level say I'm going, I'm going. To, the next level. to the next level the way you get to the next level is by believing the words you say come to pass and you will have whatsoever you say whatsoever you say whatsoever you say that's why he said whatsoever mm -hmm. he will have the mountain removed no he will have whatsoever he says are you here yes. I think I'm getting it across you believe the words you say come to pass the words that proceed out of your mouth the spoken words come to pass say I believe, I believe my, spoken words my spoken words come to pass, come to pass. that's what you believe have, 
the faith of God how are you going then to have the faith of God what do we know where's the faith of God fundamental belief the faith of God is in his word already in his word if I'm going to have the faith of God have it have it I will have his word in my mouth listen if I'm going to have the faith of God I'm going to have his word in my mouth and I believe that when I say his word it comes to pass I have whatsoever I say Psalms 34 verse 8 oh taste and see that the Lord is good taste and see that the Lord is good what do you taste with your ear yeah. no you taste with your tongue your mouth if you don't say it you'll never see it you have to taste it enough until you begin to see it mm -hmm. what do you mean taste it I mean say it you taste it by saying it I taste the Word of God by saying the Word of God and when I say it enough I begin to see it if I want to see the Word of God in my life I have to say the Word of God in my life you haven't tasted it enough to see it yet well, I don't see it yet keep tasting it keep saying it what happens to the man who commits to saying actively saying speaking it mm -hmm. every day Deuteronomy 8 18 it is God who gives me power to get wealth what happens to the man who commits to actively saying Deuteronomy 8 18 every day say 20 minutes a day he's gonna say God gives me power to get wealth it is God who gives me power to get wealth it is God who gives me power to get wealth he's tasting it he's tasting it he's tasting it he's tasting it he will begin to see it now well, I don't believe that well number one you've never done it somebody that would say that I don't believe that they've never done it I have done it I've seen it I've proven it to be true I've tasted it and I've seen it mm -hmm. and number two you really don't understand the latent power that's in the spoken word of God fundamental beliefs you think you know faith yet you've never done this before God's Word in my mouth comes to pass say that God's Word, God's word. In, my in my mouth comes to pass, comes to pass. what's the in my mouth part mean speaking, speaking it God's Word said by my mouth comes to pass mm -hmm. say it God's Word, God's word. said by my mouth, by my mouth. Comes, to comes to pass how far can you go with that it's as far as that word will take you do you understand this mm -hmm. are you getting it I'm happy if you are God's Word in my mouth comes to pass say God's Word, God's word. in my mouth comes to pass that's pleasing God Matthew chapter 8 verse 8 the centurion answered and said Lord I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed Jesus called this man's faith great which means there were lesser forms of faith yes. are you here yes. that's where I'm trying to get you there are lesser forms of faith but Jesus said this man's faith was great it was on another level to the point where he didn't find anybody else that was on that level say that's where I'm going, that's where I'm going. he said speak the word only and it would take place say speak the word only and it takes place what's the greatest level of faith speaking the word 
only yes. with intent mm -hmm. that it takes place I speak the word only and I expect it to come to pass it's the greatest faith this is where you're going you saying his word is his kiss of approval on you who says his word you do when you say his word he approves of you it may feel weird to be here on this new level you may think oh I haven't prayed enough I haven't begged enough I haven't asked God whether it be his will because you're speaking the word only and expecting it to come to pass it feels a little weird that you have to let go of the old way of doing things if you're going to go here it's a new place keep going keep speaking on the other side of this is the thing said that's where you're going you're saying God's word until you get to the other side where the thing said is mm -hmm. are you here yes. the thing said is God's word the thing said is prosperity the thing said is healing the thing said is deliverance the thing said is youth renewal Psalms 107 verse 20 says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions how did he send his word by saying it his said word healed them his said word delivered them from their destructions I am his said word healed I am his said word delivered I'm on the other side of this now I've said it enough to where I stand as his said word healed I stand as his said word delivered you've gone to a different level you don't need healing you don't need deliverance he sent past tense his word and healed you healed past tense you are healed Amen. with God's Word in your mouth yeah. you are delivered with God's Word in your yeah. mouth Amen. you don't need me to pray for you seriously this is the greatest I'm telling you this is the greatest Jesus said it was the greatest mm -hmm. we live by faith this is the greatest yes. this is the greatest I am said word healed I am said word delivered I am said word rich I am said word wealthy this is the greatest this is what takes you to the next level speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost who is the Living God and walking with him by saying his words and having those words take you to the next thank you Holy Ghost we worship you and commit to saying your word on a daily basis and we shall see those things begin to manifest in your life things you never even thought you could walk in and it will be like you've already been there and we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are the Living God you make my finances increase you bless me you prosper me I am made rich because of your words in my mouth in Jesus name Amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God